Baby Agnes, Baby Creed, Baby Elliot. These babies are only here today because of you. I was terrified. I didn't tell my parents, I didn't tell anybody, and I was so scared. We've all been there before, at the bottom. And for women facing unplanned pregnancy, it's confusing, it's lonely. And the one lost in today's politics is the woman who just needs help. I was in paramedic school when I found out, so I felt like everything I just worked for went out the window. I didn't tell anybody in my family or his father for about a month and a half because I was just so scared. My main reason for wanting the information on the abortion was because I felt like I had nowhere to go. My mom was not happy about it. Um, my parents were not going to support me. Um, my mom had already told me that if I decided to keep the baby, I was not going to be living there. My lowest moment was probably walking in and thinking, I'm here for an abortion. I had never been in a place in life where I thought I would ever be in this situation. And I was. At Women's Care Center, we focus with great love on the next woman who walks through our doors. One woman at a time. One baby at a time. I was so nervous coming in. Oh, but they were wonderful. I was scared, I was angry, and everybody here took every feeling I had into consideration. And they were welcoming, and they were like, if you need help, we've got you. And they gave me so many different opportunities and options that I would have been lost without them. I think I broke down crying in the ultrasound room because I was like, wow, I was like, oh my God, like, I think I can feel him. He was alive. He was, he was in there. It's real, I'm having a baby. She was a little person, arms and legs, kicking and moving. My mom instincts had kicked in at that point. I was like, I want this baby now. I was like, I am not gonna give this baby up. If I hadn't come to the care center, um, I probably would have just went ahead with the abortion because I felt like I had to. I see her and I love her so much, I can't even imagine. But you're just in that moment, you, you're just so panicked that I'm just very glad that you guys were here. I'm very glad that someone was here to talk to me and help me through this. And I'm very happy that I have my baby now. If I didn't come here, I don't feel like Creed would be here. And it is you who give women the opportunity to choose life. And with classes and the crib club, you help long after a baby is born, creating nurturing parents and building families. Everybody needs someone to turn to when they feel like their back's against the wall. And I feel like this is it. When there's no other place to turn, this is the place to turn. That was how it was for me. My son has made me like really look at life and be like, okay, this is go time. Like we really need to like buckle down and get things done. I enrolled myself back into school um, and I graduate in a year. You'll never find anyone more grateful to donors like you than our Women's Care Center moms. I'm grateful that there were the donations. I was able to come here. I was able to go through that early storm. This place helped me feel like I had another option. Thank you, I appreciate you, I'm gonna cry. Because you are so, oh man! I don't know what I would have done if it wasn't for this place. I, I don't know what I would have done. Brings children into the world that might be doctors, might cure cancer one day, might do anything. I don't know what Creed could do. You never know what you're bringing into the world. And I feel like every child deserves a chance. Agnes is here because of donations from you. Like, that's why this baby is here. Thank you. <laughs> you're great. I mean, I don't, I don't know if you realize the impact you've made, but you, you made one, and it's a big one. You make this mission possible. Now more than ever. I've been waiting for all of my life. Double down on what works. Double down on what is unconditionally loving, non-judgmental, and life-saving. Double down on love. I'll be waiting for you. 
I could have a completely bad day at work and I just look at him and his smile just makes everything better. I love her so much. The thing in life I know God put in my life for a reason. That baby's supposed to be here. I love her little chubby legs. Life is a million times better than I ever thought it could be. As soon as I walk in, I'll hear him coo because he hears me. Oh, it lights up. It's great. I love it. It's the best feeling in the world. Some say smiling is a curious it is. But you People are always like, why are you always smiling? You know, there's, what, there's so much to be happy about. Like, I have a little boy that is actually good. I'm taking care of him and taking care of me. Make me laugh. You make me smile. Oh, make you smile. Double down on love.